Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a way the middle production. Today is the whatever. Uh 23rd of April 2014, so Wednesday 3.45 and the shop opens at uh, 3 p.m. actually but 3.45 is today's time. So I'm at the Taman Angrek and this place is called Hobby Kid KID. And uh, so far it's uh, quite quite not bad the, the back of that uh, the the figures there, so I'm only allowed to do the front part, so yeah. Strange. Never mind. So this is in Butterworth, so there is like one hobby shop in Butterworth. It's not bad actually, there are a lot of posters everywhere. And of course Armin Arlet there, and Aegis, and all these female figures, real greats and whatnot. Asuka Langley saw you. Uh, huh. And of course uh, this basketball thing, it's not slam dunk, but it's okay. Hmm. Let's see here. So just now I saw the small little girl and it's her, her mother. I recognize the, the car and also was going around just waiting for this shop to open. I have to wait a long time. So I just uh, got, got, got fed up of uh, waiting for it. So I took a drive around and uh, just uh, take a look, look around the neighborhood. And uh, suddenly I just passed this one and the open sign is on and, the, and it was moving. So now the shop is open. So at least I just waited for it and now all I got is this uh, small little display case and uh, there are more others at the back there but uh, the owner does not let me go and uh, video it so so this is the heavy arms not bad looking the poster I don't know why I'm doing the poster because I've already done the what you call it master grade, master grade version of it the TT Hongi one so this one is a lot of posters Definitely. Oh, it's fucking hot. I mean, it's effing hot. So that's the Telgis up there. I think there's a third one. It's a third party version. So you're not supposed to call it a pirated or knockoff. Since it's a prior, it's a different type of design. It's not a Bandai type. So it's nice to see all these posters everywhere. And there's a Kyrios from wherever, Gundam Double, and uh, of course uh, Aaron Yeager there with the Colossus Titan in the back. And the Cunt, yep, the Cunt. Gundam Cunt. And the Perfect Grace up there. And there are a lot of uh, other figures here. The Alien, the RX-78-2 there, the super size one, I think it's a 1 out of 60 scale, should be, either that is 148, I don't think it's 148, it's 148 should be bigger than that, it's the Ultraman at the back there, there's, a, there's the new Evangelion girl there, oh this one looks great, this one, this uh, unit here, this one, the big shield at the back there, I've never seen the shield before, strange, oh yeah, yeah, I think I saw it, the uh, third movie in outer space, I think so. Of course, the third movie was just sucks balls, right? And there is a Lara Croft there. There is this one, the game girl. Uh, I don't know what's that PS3 game already. PS2 or PS3 game, and of course the the nice figures for that. What should we call it? Can't remember what. From Studio Gynex, uh, Gunbuster, ah, Gunbuster. All the three figure females. Just love the design of their, their space suits. Yep, that's a space suit, I think. Uh, actually, no, that's their their uniform. Very very nice design. As the one on the right is the one from Russia. The f the middle one is the from Japan, and the left one God knows where. And see here, there's a small little goof and Zaku and Zaku, sorry, Zaku one, I think. Very small. I don't know whether it's articulate or not. Doesn't seem to be. And there's a, also a Zaku. Zaku one or Zaku two, I'm not sure. It's not that important. And this one is from the Akira manga. I mean, the Akira Kurosawa, I think. Hmm. Then there's a master grade version of the Gundam Wing from the Endless Worlds movie version. 
with the Buster Cannons, two of them. That one I don't think has been done to anything to it. Uh, there's no flat coat, there's no gloss coat, and there's only like uh, armor that is, that is uh, translucent. And let's see here. Ooh, white, white color is it? Can't see. Uh, very nice, I like the figure. Not bad. Any, any. Mm, it should be white. And this one is the Gunbuster thing. And there is a Gachaman, I think, is it? Uh, not a not Gachaman, uh... Shit. Uh... Kamen Rider, yeah, Kamen Rider. Then, of course, there's a Miku Hatsune. And that one is a Zaku from the Seed universe. Uh, Zaku, what? Don't know. ZM0F something something. And here is. Uh, this one is from the Disney movie. What's it called? Tron. Yep, Tron's there at the back. And in front as well. And small little Trons. And this is Charolais. That's supposed to be the Bumblebee. And now I'm sweating like a pig. It's very hot. Wow, well, at the back there, there's a nice looking Ray Ayanami from the Evangelion 3.0 with uh, her eye, left eye got uh, what do you call eye patch thingy design of the suit, I mean her suit also is not bad it's very different from the original suit in the anime and this is the master, not master grade, the uh, perfect grade Zaku oh my god oh nice I think it's a perfect grade, yep it should, yeah, it should be a perfect grade not bad, not bad although that being said uh, when it comes to like say your panel lining, the ones for the for the the heat vent, uh, this one the tie is actually the fuel tank. This one the the panel lining could have been done a bit better. Uh, the best way to make or do a panel lining would be doing using the the thinner and and diluted thinner and let it flow everywhere. That's the best way. But this one has been done with just a straight on marker. But very nice. I mean the Zaku 2 that is. Huge. Bloody huge. Holy shit. Uh, no flat coat. And still look at it as in it's a bit plasticky. Whew. I don't see many uh, Zaku 2 perfect grades displayed on all these things. And this is the first time that I'm seeing one here. The Zaku 2 perfect grade displayed. Which is a good thing. You get to see what it looks like, size and whatnot, instead of just looking at the fuck. I mean, the effing box. And there's a small little chibi Zaku too, and there's a dom here. Dom dom. And of course the Gundam Age. This is the super size one. There is no perfect grade. There's a super size one. One out of forty eight scale. And even though it's. Uh, not a perfect grade, but it still looks pretty good. Not bad with all the panel lining done already. It's not bad. 148 skill, I think. Or was it 148? Uh, I think it's 148. This kind of mage. There are not many, like say, the red mark marks or the the water slides is I think it's dying for a version Katoki uh, remake of this Gundam Age definitely and uh, of course uh, <clears throat> with the cap you know the cap design of the, the in, front, in front of the head or above the eyes yeah this one is a bit more angular so it's it's not looking like a cap so the design is much better definitely much better for this Gundam Age but when it comes to let's say master grade or high grade it looks like a cap it's very it's not as angular as this one here so this one looks nicer this big size one and of course the MK178 perfect grade here no panel no sorry no uh, flat coating here still looks a bit plasticky definitely if you want to like uh, make it even nicer gloss uh, use the spray can the gloss on the the inner frame 
to, to symbolize that it's made of metal and and flat coat the armor of course just to like uh, get it, get uh, just to make it less shiny less shiny means less plastic looking very nice looking but the this one the orange part you see the the ventilation for the that part there those are plastic and it's not some other material unfortunately so the perfect great titans 170 oh I can open everything up oh my god not bad does it come with the the headphones uh? 80 styles headphones which is quite the which is very popular now in Japan strangely maybe it acts as not only a headphone but also as a muffler or just to keep the ears from getting cold because those uh, places like Japan or Russia they is very very cold and this is a real great blah 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 and that one here is the it's not a perfect grid is it a perfect grid? doesn't look like a perfect grid it looks like a 160 skill uh, strike freedom that's not strike freedom uh, strike Gundam I think this is a 160 skill with all the ills pack striker pack whatever pack definitely 160 grade no 160 scale no grade or non grade or normal grade strike Gundam there with the the ill strike ill strike is not as detailed as the perfect grade strike rogue of course it does not need to be because the engines are all obscured inside the perfect grade that is this one I don't think there is an engine inside the ill strike at all because this is a no grade so late did not like over design it but what's the point because you can't actually see the engine inside and here is the Exia also a no grade all big big ones no grades the Exia looks not bad but the the sword there you can see some of the deformities of the plastic So uh, normal people, I mean, uh, modelers would like, uh, I think, paint it with some something other than black, maybe silver. And the back there is the the full blast uh, destiny, which I have already done. It's a not bad looking uh, piece of kit actually, and I am still sweating like a pig. Definitely. And behind there, that's the God knows what that is. Hmm. Autori pack uh, strike. Not sure. Omni Strike should be a sign there. Lucas Strike E Gundam with the IWSP Master Grade. And of course, uh, besides Gundams, which is uh, awesome to see them so big here, there is that uh, one from Robocop. And also a very nice looking bust of the Iron Man 2 Mark 4, Mark 5. Uh, uh, Iron Man suit, which is the most impressive design of all the Iron Man suits that comes out of a briefcase. I like this design, grey and only uh, red and grey, nice. And there's Optimus Prime and there's a de Battle Damage Iron Man. And this one as well, this one uh, comes in the brown box, I don't know whether this is it or not, but the same, same design as the brown box to stuff. It's a very hot day in Penang. Penang is always very warm. There you see something like Lego Y-Wing. There's a Gremlin there. Is that Halo? Who knows. Then this very Ray Fellows, Ultraman, Hulk, and I've